Alright guys, uh, today I'm going to talk about tire pressure in your motorhome for uh, inflation. Uh, first thing we're going to do is go over tire size, but I'm not going to get into too much of that because that's not uh, the purpose of this video. The purpose is really just to uh, show everybody what they, not show everybody, but explain to everybody the air pressure that they're supposed to be using in their motorhome because I've went through a lot of research trying to find out how much air pressure I'm supposed to have. I've went on forums and asked questions and I seem to get a different answer from just about everybody and almost all of them have been wrong. Some people will say whatever your tire says on the sidewall, which mine says 80 PSI, we tried that and felt like we were riding on log wagons. They said go by what's on the door of your sticker or on the sticker of the door in the cab of the truck and that's not necessarily right because the weight is different than what it is when you buy the motorhome. So uh, first we're going to show you the tire size just to get that out of the way and then we'll get into inflations and looking at the chart for your vehicles. Ready? Okay for tire size uh, you're not going to be able to see this in the video because it's all black but um, on the sidewall of your tire and this is just for people that are new to this maybe don't understand most of you already know about everything I'm going to explain but for all the newbies out there this is for you so the tire size a lot of tires are going to start with a letter LT means a light truck that's what you're going to see on most uh, class C RVs 225 that's going to be the width of the tire how wide the tire is the next number is 75 that means it's 75 percent of the width of the tire that's the height so the height is 75 percent of the width and then the next letter is R which just means that this, these are radio tires and then you're gonna have 16 which is the rim size that's the size of your wheel that the tire goes on so that's you're gonna need to know that when you go to replace your tires and for inflation information because this is going to be what you're looking at on the chart okay before we go to the chart I want to show you where you can find uh, your uh, weight for your vehicle when it's empty and what its uh, max capacity weight is. You usually find that on the inside of your closet door. Um, it may be different on yours, I don't know, but on ours it's on our closet door. So we'll go inside and we'll take a look at that real quick. Okay, so here's where our uh, sticker is that tells us all of our weights. It's right inside our closet door. Carrying capacity, um, I'll throw a picture of this up so we can go over it a little bit better okay so here's the carrying capacity now the first thing we want to look at in here is the dry weight this is the dry weight of the finished vehicle when it comes from manufacturer it weighs 10,250 pounds now the next thing we're going to look at is the net carrying capacity which is 2,050 pounds that's how much stuff you can put inside the RV and that's going to give us a total of our gross vehicle weight rating which is 12,300 pounds so the 10,250 plus the 2,050 will be your gross vehicle weight that's the maximum you can be allowed to safely travel on the road so the next thing the main things that we want to look at are our front gross axle weight and our rear gross axle weight so for the front we're at 4,300 pounds this is from the manufacturer this is without, without anything in it and the rear gross axle weight is 8,600 pounds. So th them are going to be the most important things we're looking at as far as tire pressure goes. Okay, so here's the inflation chart. Now the first thing we want to do is go down here to the tire size that you have, which we have LT225 7516s. And the first one we're going to look at is single. This is for our front axles. We have one wheel on each side. So our front axle rating was 4,300 pounds. Now you divide that by two, one tire for each side, that gives you 2,150. So you want to go across here under pounds and look for 2,150. Now we don't have 2,150, but we have 2,190. So we want to uh, round up, err on the side of caution. So 2,190, now you go up 60 PSI. That's your PSI on this line here. That's what you want to look at. So for our tires, our front tires, we're going to be inflated at 60 PSI. This is empty weight, mind you. Now, for the rear tires, since we have dualies on the back, and our rating was 8,600 pounds for the rear axle, 
we want to go up here to duals and we want to uh, divide 8600 by 4 which is 2150 so now we'll go over here and they have it 2150 right there so now we'll go up 65 psi so each tire in the rear will have 65 psi and then in the front only 60 psi one thing you'll need to do before all this is go get yourself a weight on your RV you can usually go to a pilot or uh, anywhere that has a cat scale some scales will be able to measure each uh, tire and each side most of them just weigh the front axles and the back axles now some people will pull off to one side of the scale so they're only weighing uh, one side of their vehicle the front and the back and then they'll pull to the other side and weigh the other side you'll have to pay twice of course for two different weights but for us we just right now we just weigh the front axle weigh the rear axle and then uh, use our best judgment on what we thought it should be but like I said if you got 8600 pounds in the back you could have 4,000 on one side and 4,600 on the other so there's a benefit of weighing each side you can move some weight around and adjust your tire pressure a little bit better but for us it's, it was just just as easy and I think just as safe just to get the front axle and the rear axle weighed and then uh, do go accordingly so but do whatever you think is best for you just make sure you have a, a nice uh, safe ride and a nice comfortable ride so if this helped you in any way hit the like button and don't forget like share and subscribe guys thanks for watching see you later bye